Welcome to Setios Reviews, and we have an Oki mechanical keyboard uh, KMG3. Uh, pretty basic, but it's supposed to have backlight and all that, so let's check it out. Something's moving in this box, but how do you open this thing? This should slide off, no? Yep, that slides off. That slides way off, then we have this in there to unbox this thing. What is that? A key? <laughs> or key? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be um, like this. See, key. That's that's the. Well, that's lock. That's not a key. Why did I say key? What's 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 the matter with me? Okay, I don't know what the heck that is. Maybe that's a key. <laughs> okay, enough. Uh, let's take the keyboard out and let's check this beast out. Holy, holy crap! It's heavy, guys. In the box, it didn't didn't feel that heavy, but it really is. So. Dun, 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 dun. I can already feel it's mechanical. Uh, what I don't like about this box is that they <laughs> twist the wire. See this this kink in here. That's that's very bad. See, you should not kink your cables like this. It's it's a bad thing. You might ask why, but um, the reason is because a lot of people have probably experienced it that their wires they simply uh, break and not completely. I mean they just um, don't give the signal anymore but this this is really heavy guys it really is look look at the shape of this thing so it's like elevated uh, personally i don't like these elevated uh, keyboards like this and the reason for that if you spill something on it then uh, it gets into the keys themselves so that's why they usually have like uh, two layered uh, i can't really explain it but usually when the keyboards the um, key uh, like this thing in here it has like this kind of uh, color around it and it goes inside the key so even if you spill liquid on it that liquid stays like on the bottom level and it doesn't go in there because the color like goes up a little bit i hope you understand what i'm saying but um, i'm just saying but it looks absolutely cool it's it's unique design i have to say you see it's like pretty unique from here and this kind of brushed metal uh, finish i do like the look but i'm just saying that it's not very practical to have this kind of design so that's the key sounds for you also like that the uh, keys are not like normal look at the shape of a d so it's like pretty futuristic uh, letters i do like it but i'm gonna hook it up to a laptop in here and i'll show you the colors and stuff so uh, there's no manual in here so i don't know how the colors and stuff work and what this is i actually know exactly what this is that's for um lifting out the keys i believe i'm uh, not sure how it's supposed to do maybe this way well that's that's what it's for it's um supposed to lift out the keys let's let's try with this thing uh, it doesn't work it doesn't work at all but i uh, but i know that's that's what it's for if you want to replace your keys but it doesn't work guys it absolutely it, do it doesn't even stick on it sticks on from one side but okay now it actually did but see that's that's how you do it see so you can pull it out and these are blue mechanical switches so uh, this this is one thing i like about mechanical keyboards that you can easily replace the keys so let's put it back on i think i did something wrong now uh, nope i didn't there we go uh something's underneath it so all right let's connect it up then okay it's doing something it's uh, red right now but how do I change the colors and stuff? And there's absolutely nothing. There's something M1, M2, MR. I think I need to check the manual because, um, or maybe not. Maybe just look at the icons. See, that looks like brightness something. Brightness up, brightness down. I don't know what these are. Colors maybe. But uh, how do you change these? That's that's the question. Also have some kind of FPS, CF, CQ. Is that LOL? LOL? That's race? Let's race. Uh, all of these keys, I don't know how to change them. There should be a key that you hold down. Probably the FN. I'm going to give it a go. So let's see. Whoops. I just pressed something. But let's try the FN key and let's try. Brightness up. Uh, it doesn't. Yep, it does. I don't know if you can see it, but it does change the brightness. You have to click it like this. So. That's basically all the hot keys in here. And these are also play buttons, like multimedia buttons, so... 
these are sound in here like volume up volume down let's see I can't see it working in there but um, oh that changes colors dumbass it, it didn't work before maybe I clicked something wrong oh look at that that's that's nice I, I pressed something wrong I think before I know how well you can see this see that's like the full color wait it's purple now okay that's changes so uh, okay that's that's like this see if you press anything then it lights up so that's how you change it you press the FN key and then you hit something that's that's pretty cool it's like pulsing or something press this let's press this okay that's like wavy very wavy blue Wow, look at that. That's multicolor. That's pretty nice. I'm just playing around with the colors. I just like it. Okay, I'm not sure what these buttons are supposed to do. These are brightness, but what's the other ones? I don't know. Oh, that's the speed. See? The animation speed. Whoops, wrong button. Yep, see? That's that's what it is. Uh, MR, maybe it's memory. I don't know. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> It, it's a, <laughs> I don't know, it's a nice toy <laughs> to play around like this. That's pretty cool. I just like playing around like this. Okay, now I don't know what I did. What what did I press? Oh, okay, that's that's another one. Almost every chroma keyboard has that, but that I don't know. That I absolutely like these effects. That's cool. See, that's that's the one I had already. I think, or maybe not. Um, let's try another one. And that's like typical chroma and see that's that goes slower, see that thing. Okay. Yep. That's like the wave thing is slower. There are a lot of functions, okay? So as you can see there's a lot of different functions, guys. Oh these are nice, these are like big fat ones. But that's that's how this thing works in here. So it's it's good for basic, you know, whatever you need, but it doesn't have any extra buttons. You can use the FN key like I showed. You have the play, pause, the media buttons. And here are a few more things about this keyboard. For example, in the manual, I checked the uh, shortcuts in here. And if you can see it, you probably can. You can just pause it and read it. For example, if you press, um, if you press function and W, I don't want to press it right now, but that will swap these keys with arrow keys so if someone like prefers using the arrow keys in here then you can swap them around some games like have default functions on this you can simply swap them around so that's useful and you can also like uh, close the backlight completely like kill it off if you don't like it so it's it's very basic looking but it has some half advanced uh, features you can also lock the windows key that's why it has this lock icon. If you press the FN and this, then it locks it. So if you accidentally press it, then it doesn't pull you out of the game. So it's it's good for games. It's not specifically a gaming keyboard, but it has some gaming features. So it's like, you know, general purpose keyboard. So I think, it, I think it's pretty awesome. And whoops, um, these keys in here, these are just colors for different like game sh uh, schematics, see? For example, FPS, first person shooter, that's, I don't know why it has it, first person shooter, it has like some other keys too, but uh, these are just some profiles for you, you know, liking how you like to see that stuff, but that's that's about it, so. I'm not sure if you can actually change each color individually, I don't know, can you? For example, if I have it uh, in here, yeah, I'm not sure if you can change the colors, but, well, it's really amazing keyboards so well here how it looks like uh, in use I actually thought I'm gonna try it out because I have this thing in here and this is good for hot keys so I don't need any extra keys and it looks pretty amazing actually it fits with my setup but I don't know it's too basic for me it's like feels weird you know I tried to type on it and it's really loud for example just lis listen to it I'm like um this far away, the microphone is right next to me, so... I don't know if you can hear that, you probably can, so... I don't know how I'm gonna make all these uh, 
videos because it will definitely get in my microphone. For example, I have my microphone coming down from there and that's how it sits. So uh, my face is in here, I can see over it and it's pretty close to the keyboard actually as you can see maybe like this this much distance it's hard to see the distance but yeah it's about see this this much in here so it's pretty close even though it only records from the front but i don't know uh, previously i had this one cyborg v7 see it has these hot keys on the left and on the right in there and it has playback uh, buttons on the top so um it, it just look at it it just looks a lot I don't know, bigger and better, but this is not mechanical and it's really quiet. See, if I press these, yeah, you can't hear anything. And also this Oki, that is actually a key. See, that's that's how it looks like. It's a sticker. I just put it in here. I have the bloody in there. I have my own logo and I have the Razer one on the other side. But um, back to this keyboard. So I don't know. I'm going to try to actually um, make some recordings and see if it works but the keyboard itself i i do like it the effects are pretty cool it's actually really nice to type on but i don't know a lot of people say that the mechanical is better but personally i i don't know i don't i don't really like mechanical it is nice to type on yes but it's it's too loud i just can't have it going on in the background i just like to listen to music and stuff like this and but but the keyboard is awesome nevertheless it's it's really cool it's really cool keyboard but anyway i will see ya next time